morning and welcome to Winnipeg. Now, we do not have a rollback. Um, what I was doing here a moment ago, I was looking at, the, at, the, at our manual here on step 11. And uh, I, I do believe there are several little items that we did not paint. So as long as I'm going to be painting these uh, J21s and J22s, uh, I may as well go through steps 11 and also the stuff that we need on the stern. Now some, some of the stuff that I do believe we've got, uh, but a lot of it we don't. <clears throat> but what caught my eye was the was the pair of veins. And uh, yeah, K42s. And I was noticing that, uh, well, I was thinking, I, I don't remember cutting those off. Or, and, you know, and I, I know we've done them two or three times before uh, for the uh, Bismarck Hood and Rodney, but uh, didn't remember doing them for the Iowa. Uh, <clears throat> yes, it's funny how some of this stuff on all these different ships, like the, the, the American ship, the uh, Iowa, the, the British ship, the, the Hood and the Rodney, and the German ship, the Bismarck, a lot of their stuff is almost identical. It seems like when, when one country got a good idea going, the others sort of copied it. <laughs> well, well, sometimes there's only one way to do something well, and I guess they, that's what, the way they did it. Uh, okay, now... Uh, I'm going to probably spend the next hour or so uh, going through going through the manual and going through our sprues and trying to get stuff together before we spray. Uh, I do want to I do have to cut today's episode off a little bit early. Something's going to be happening later today that uh, uh, I don't want to be uh, tied up doing my final edit when it happens. No, nothing serious, just family stuff. So, uh, oh, I, I did get my smartphone able to talk to my uh, uh, router yesterday. <laughs> Remember, I was talking about that. It's, it's, pardon my reach here. Now, I have, I have ordered a case for this because it is so slippery that even when you're holding tightly onto it, it slowly is slipping through your fingers. It's... It's some real s unusual type of glass or something. Uh, I don't think it's plastic. It's it's too it's too smooth to be plastic. It feels like some kind of glass. Anyway, I ordered a case this morning. Probably be here on Friday or Saturday, and that way there'll be less chance of me accidentally dropping it. But I, I've got to the place now where I can uh, I can ask Google a question and she responds. <laughs> okay. Uh, let's uh, let's just sort of uh, carry on here. Oh, the the anchor chain is on here on on step uh, eleven, but uh, I'm not planning on painting that because if you remember, somebody sent us the uh, 3D printed anchor chain. Uh, so I'm gonna just leave it. I think it's black or dark gray if I remember right. So we'll just leave it the way it is because I think that if I try to spray it. I'm going to lose a lot of that extra detail that 3D printing gives you. So, uh, uh, well, another thing, when, when I do spray today, I, I want to maybe put the macro lens on and see if I can get in nice and close and see if I can even more delicately spray with the uh, Tor... With, I was going to say Tormac. Uh, <laughs> this is a Tormac. <laughs> okay, with the uh, TimberTech. Uh, TimberTech airbrush and see just how deli delicately I can get because I know I can get fairly fine spray with the uh, Iwata but uh, can I actually get really really fine spray with the TimberTech uh, uh, okay I think we've uh, beat this to death here uh, I'm just gonna find some more parts okay we may not get the spray yet today some of these little pieces, like I've wasted a lot of time on this J6. Now does it get mounted on the deck this way? Or does it go this way? Now I kind of think 
that it is supposed to go like that because if you look closely it looks like this there's a line right here that represents this 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 line right here that I'm just trying to touch um, but when you try to mount it on the deck it, it just doesn't want to fit so uh, I think what I'm going to try and do is uh, see if I can't find a maybe Stefan has a drawing of it or uh, and, and then if, if we know what it is, then, then it's easy to figure out how it goes. Okay. Now I know it looks like uh, my compulsive poking disorder is taking over, but one of the reasons why I constantly poke at something is to try and turn it into different, in different angles so it can be seen. Um, at least uh, that's my excuse and I'm sticking to it. Okay, I thought I'd just show you here where it's supposed to go. Somehow like this. But it, it doesn't fit in there. Unless it's supposed to be at a bit of an angle. Well, like I say, let's, let's see if we can figure out what it is supposed to be. And then we'll know how it's supposed to go. Oh, and by the way here, I just want to give you perspective, okay? Okay, here we are in Stefan's book, and I am not finding anything that, uh, you know, depicts what we are supposed to be installing that is triangular shape. This, this right here is the general area, as near as I can remember, but there's nothing triangular, and um, let's keep going here. There's a little close, more close-up of that area. Maybe we're too far close to the bow here. Now we're we're kind of looking over onto the to the opposite side here. Uh, I think the part that we are too bad this drawing just didn't go a little bit more over to the right. Well, here it sort of does. Okay. Um, well, it, it should be right in here, and, and, and it's just simply not. Okay, up here again. I'm, I'm not seeing anything up here that looks like that. Okay, you know, it's almost noon right now, and I've got company coming at 2 o'clock. I... Uh, I think we're just going to mount that thing after we paint it. We're going to mount it at maybe a 45 degree angle. I do believe it was supposed to be some sort of a hatch, possibly for some sort of an auxiliary chain uh, for maybe pulling the main anchor chain around. I don't know. Uh, anyway, let's stop wasting time here with this. Well, I realize it doesn't look like it, but we've got 16 little pieces here. Not much to show for this morning's work, eh? Thanks for watching, everybody. All being well, we're going to see you tomorrow. <laughs>